So, you want to learn more about Lorraine? Then this video is for you. Today we will have a full review of Summer Innkeeper Lorraine. We will talk about her profile. Abilities, exclusive weapon, suggested builds and I will give you my thoughts on every topic. Let's go to her profile. Lorraine has decided to have a vacation this summer, and she created AA-72 out of the existing blueprint in the Heavenhold, to help with the festival. However, AA-72 has run away, and this is the full detail of the story. This is her hero information. Now let's go straight to her abilities. Lorraine has a party buff of range damage plus 50%. She also has a plus 5% shield increase on battle start, skill damage of plus 6%, and plus 1% HP recovery on enemy kill. Her buffs are very good synergy for a DPS team. It can be useful in guild raids and in Colosseum. Her normal attack is called Deployment Orders. Deploys Heavenhold androids to inflict damage to enemies. Her normal attack speed is very fast, and it can pass through walls and obstacles. It also doesn't have a reload time, so you can spam it in the battle. You can also run and lead the androids attacking in the way. Her normal attack is very good at kiting enemies. Her chain skill is called Devastation Beam. It is down to injured. Deploys various androids to inflict 360% of DPS damage around the target. Her chain skill has a delay in applying injured status to the enemy, so you better be mindful of the down status timer. Her special ability is called Protection Orders. Creates a shield 10% of damage inflicted by deployment orders. Increase damage dealt to enemies by 10%, and decrease damage taken by 10% during battle. While the shield is in effect, increase damage dealt to enemies by 20%, and damage taken is reduced by 20%. This ability is so good. You can have up to 30% damage and 30% damage reduction while fighting. You can also generate your shield up to 100% of your HP. Now let's see her exclusive weapon. Her exclusive weapon is called Ocean Call, and it's an epic basket. What makes it so good is its special ability. On deployment orders hit, increase crit hit chance by 10% for 3 seconds. This effect can overlap up to 3 times. If the effect overlaps to the maximum limit, the crit hit multiplier increases by 15% for 3 seconds. This weapon ability can drastically boost her DPS. You can have up to 30% crit hit chance and 15% crit hit multiplier after your successful third hit of deployment orders. The 3 seconds timer resets if you keep hitting the enemy. It means you have 100% uptime of this ability. Her weapon skill is called March of Gnomes. It is level 6. It has an attack of 245% DPS and a regen time of 9.2 seconds. Marching gnomes inflict damage and puts enemies in a down state. It has a wide range so kiting enemies with this skill is not a problem. Collecting this weapon will grant you permanent HP stats plus 1%. Now let's go to our recommendation checklist. In this checklist, we will have three indicators. Green check for good. Orange check for average. And red X for bad. Let's start with story mode. I think Lorraine is a very good choice in story mode. First, she can generate her own shield up to 100% of her full HP. Second, her attack and skill can pass through walls, destroying those annoying caster enemies behind the walls. Third, her stats and abilities are so good that she almost has all the core stats of a ranged dealer. So it's a green check for story mode. Second is guild raid. A lot of guild raid teams depend on the party buffs and debuffs to boost their DPS, but Lorraine can deal huge damage on her own because of her abilities. It is definitely a green check for guild raid. Third is Colosseum. I think she is a very good DPS in Colosseum against future princess. She is a basic element and has a lot of DPS buffs. She also generates her own shield while fighting. Deem her up with Priscilla to activate her special ability effectively. So it's a green check for Colosseum. Last is Arena. I think she is also good in Arena because of her abilities. First, her normal attack and weapon skill is good at kiting the enemy. Second, she generates shield while fighting. Third, she has a lot of attack and defense buffs. Deem her up with Priscilla to activate her special ability effectively. So it's also a green check for Arena. I hope this checklist will help you to decide if you will summon her or not. Now let's go to item build. Let's start with adventure build. For weapon, use her exclusive weapon, Ocean Call. If you don't have it, use Emma as an alternative. For accessory. I recommend getting the Amethyst Earring from the Kamazin Equipment Shop for only 24,900 gold. It will give you good stats for high DPS. You can upgrade to high toughness accessories for higher level enemies. I will not recommend Mirror Earring of Patience for new players, because it consumes a lot of option stones to get good stats. For cards, if you are a new player, I recommend getting these two cards in Kamazin Equipment Shop for only 60,000 gold each. It is one attack card and one defense card. You can use two defense cards for difficult stages. 
For merch, use idly the light stick, for additional toughness and basic element damage. The next build is for guild raid. For weapon, use her exclusive weapon, Ocean Call, it will greatly increase her DPS because of its ability. For accessories, use Sharpshooter for high DPS stats. You can upgrade to Sniper Goggles or Minotaur's Necklace for the endgame build. For cards, for the leader position, use two skill damage cards for high burst damage. For the member position, use two attack cards for the highest DPS output. For merch, use idly the light stick when fighting light element bosses. Switch to Mariel Cushion when fighting other element bosses. You can upgrade to Statue of Bravery and Invader Mothership for the endgame build. But make sure to use them correctly. The next build is for Colosseum. For weapon, use her exclusive weapon, Ocean Call, for the weapon ability. For accessories, use Sharpshooter for accessory on a low budget build, and use Sniper Goggles or Minotaur's Necklace for the final build. For cards, use two attack cards. For merch, use Agma Plastic Model for melting enemy tanks. You can also use the Statue of Bravery as an alternative. Last is the Arena build. For weapon, use her exclusive weapon, Ocean Call, for the critical buffs. For accessories, use Ring of Fortress for high toughness low budget build. You can upgrade to these accessories for later builds. For cards, use two defense cards for additional toughness. You can also use one injury negate card if you already have good toughness from accessories. For merch, use smiley face cushion to easily activate her special ability. You can also use statue of bravery if she's the first fighter and invader mothership if she's the last to fight. Now it's time to see her in action. That's it for now, don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video.